Hey, it's Daps here. I hope you guys are good. So there's a new tool in the market. It's called Fig WebEx. Similar to Clone WebEx, it's from the same uh, soft light, uh, the maker of Clone WebEx. And it's a fantastic tool. This tool just help you clone Figma designs to page builders and working with WordPress and also Webflow. So if you come to my screen here is Fig WebEx. So you can see here it says clone Figma to your page builder Without even using any auto layout, with a click of a button, this work with Webflow, with Elementor, with Bricks, Breakdance, and also Gutenberg. Similar to what Clone Webex will do, but Clone Webex will clone a website directly, but these just work with Figma. And by the way, I have been doing a lot of tutorials recently around uh, converting Figma project, Figma designs to WordPress, to uh, Webflow. And I just believe this is something very critical in the web design space. And soft light just made me feel that uh, investing my time into learning Figma and also teaching Figma is not a waste. And I think you should. Uh, yes, you might be a WordPress guy, Elementor guy like me. I'm just really into WordPress and I'm not seeing myself... Uh, doing anything outside of WordPress in the design space. But again, uh, there are a lot of tools that are coming up that will even make our design process a lot easier. And Figma is just one of them. Figma is just becoming indispensable in the design space. And all these tools just make me feel I am doing the right thing. So I would encourage that you take your time to just check out Figma in case you've never used Figma before. You might just find a new love down there. So I, I don't really want to waste so much time right now. I don't want to speak over your head. Let's uh, see what we have on the uh, page here. So if you scroll down here to the pricing, you can see that they have a free plan. However, because it's in uh, the pre-launch state, uh, we don't know exactly what the free would look like. So uh, uh, if we come uh, now to the 100 export, 300 export, then 3,600 export. So these two are monthly and this one here is yearly. This is priced at $20 per month, $40 and $300, $300 per year. Uh, so here you will see that you have up to 100 exports and that is what you currently get for free right now. So if you are seeing this video right now, go and check this tool out because you can you can use it literally for free right now. I don't know when they are going to launch this uh, fully. I really cannot tell. But this is free right now because it's still in the pre-launch stage. So enjoy, try it, experiment, with it, use it while it's free for you to use right now. So I'm using this literally for free right now and I think uh, we should just go check this out. Let's see exactly what we can do with it. From here, if you want to get started, all you have to just do is just go to this go to app. Uh, you can see here, I already created an account here. In your case, you'll be asked to create an account. You need to provide your name, a username and a password. And once you do, you would uh, be brought to a page here and also check your email for you to get a confirmation code because if you want to add the project like I did, I asked me for a confirmation code. I don't know if that is a one-time thing. Uh, it's how uh, it will ask every time you want to add a project. Maybe I will try to add a project now. I would see again if it will ask me for the code. But you should check out for that procedure. So right now, uh, this is what it looks like inside of Fig WebEx. So we'll come back here eventually. Uh, let's go to Figma. Uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, let me just uh, open, create a new design. And as usual, let me just use WordPress as a clone uh, for this tutorial. This is me just uh, experimenting. I'm not encouraging anybody to uh, copy any website online or copy uh, WordPress.org. I am doing this for tutorial purposes alone. Uh, so right now, I'm going to copy WordPress.org for this purpose. So I'm going to come back to Figma. So first off, we want to bring this design here, WordPress.org, into Figma before we now use FigWebEx to clone it into our desired page builder. So for us to be able to do that, we're going to use a plugin. So I can come down here and then I can come to... Uh, I have the plugin here, HTML to design. It's recently used. In your case, you can go to plugin, you can search for that plugin. Uh, so the plugin is up. So you could just come here. And then come to your plugins. In your case, you can see I have all my plugins here. You can just search for the plugin here, HTML to design. And you can see the plugin is here and you can just run it. Uh, so I have the plugin here. So I think Figma is very easy to use. I had to uh, do that for people who are possibly maybe using Figma for the very first time and you're watching this tutorial. 
So HTML to design is a freemium tool. It's free and it's also paid. Uh, the free tool would allow you to use it for a certain time per month, maybe 20 or 15. I can't really remember. You can also go pro on this if you love it and you want to use it more uh, frequently. I'm on the pro, but again, in your case, it's not compulsory. You can just use the free. So here, I'll just paste the URL here and then I'll hit the import button. And uh, that's everything we want to do with this tool here. It will bring that page design into Figma. So in case you want to clone the entire website, you want to make sure you go through all of the pages one after the other and do the same thing for the page. So if it has 10 pages, you want to do that 10 times for you to be able to bring that design into Figma. And I think that's super easy, right? Uh, so this is still uh, cloning. So I'm going to give this some few seconds to finish up. Okay, good. So we have uh, this done right now. So we can just clone this. Uh, we can close the plugin for now since that is done. And then I can just uh, use my negative button for me to see the design. So we can see this is exactly what we have here. And I think this is super, super cool. This has given us a perfect clone here. Uh, I don't really know why this always have this uh, background here. We don't need that background. Uh, the background here is the first frame that is here. So I will just ungroup it. I can just right click this and come to ungroup or I just do control uh, backspace, whatever work for you. But I can just ungroup that here. And you can see that other design is gone. So and I have this design here. This is beautiful. Uh, so right now we've been able to bring WordPress.org homepage into Figma. So the next thing we want to do right now is to see how we can export this to our page builder. So for us to be able to do that, let's go back to uh, FigWebEx. So in your case here, if you are doing this for the very first time, you can just add a project here. It will ask for your project name. You can create the project here. But I won't want to create a project. I have a project here called Dabs Tutorial. Let me just open it up. And you can see from inside this project, I have 98 left because I have done two completed exports here. Uh, for the first one here was failed. I will show you why it failed. Uh, so you need to learn that to know how to use this tool. And the second one literally worked. And I can just uh, come here to create a new project. We'll have this dialog box here. And what we want to do is to paste our Figma link here, select our page builder, which is either Elementor, Gutenberg, Webflow, Bricks, or Brickdance. And I think this is super self-explanatory. And then we see the requirement here. You need to uh, download this soft light plugin integration. That's if you're using Elementor. So if we're using Gutenberg, it's the same thing. We have to download this plugin. If you are using Webflow, you would not need the plugin. And also for Bricks, you don't need the plugin. And also for Breakdance as well. So you need to notice that. But I just want to stick with Elementor right now. Let's go back to Figma to get our Figma uh, link. So if you come down here, what we can just easily do to get our Figma link is for me to just right click this. And then I'll come down to... A copy link to selection. So if I do that, this will copy this link. But if I do this and come here and paste the link here, I will get the error I told you earlier. The reason for that is very simple. Let's come back here. Once you come here, you will see that this is an untitled project and you can see that this is in draft. That's the issue. You need to publish this first before FigWebEx will be able to see the link. So here you can give it a title, whatever you want to call it. I can call it WordPress clone, right? And what I want to do here is for me to click this, I want to move this project away from draft and I want to move it into a team project. Figma allows you to create team projects so that you can collaborate with your team super easily. And that's where you can uh, publish things if you're on the free plan like I am currently. Uh, so here, if you have not created a team project before, I'll leave a link in the video description. So that link will bring you here, Figma Learn, where you can learn how to create and explore a team. So if you come down here, you'll be able to learn more about teams. So just from here, you can see who can use this future available on starter education and professional plan. So it means everybody can use this, uh, this uh, future here. So if you scroll down, you can learn more. But if you come to creating teams, you can just come down here and hit this uh, button here. It would 
bring you here where you can easily create a team. So you can give your team a name and you can just create a team and select your free plan and that's it. You already have a team. So that's exactly how to easily create a team. So uh, let's come back here. So I will just move this to this uh, team project here and I'll hit the move button. So you can see that has gone from uh, a draft to team project. So what to do next is to come to share. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, this is set to anyone can view this link. And then you want to make sure that anyone can also edit it. And then you hit the save button. So that's it. So from here that you can then copy this link. You can see link copied. You can close that box there. And then we can come to... Figwebex, and then I can paste the link here. Again, make sure that you have the requirement here. You need to click here. If you click here, it will download this plugin. I already downloaded it into my computer and I have it on my WordPress website, so I'll not be downloading it again. So I would hit the create button and you can see this is processing here. Ah, so once it's done, we'll have this copy uh, link here for us to copy this project. I got the same error here. I don't know why that is, but uh, that is public. Uh, let's come back to Figma. Let's go check out. Uh, let's come to share. Yeah, anyone can see this, so I'm surprised. Let's uh, copy this and I'll close this. Okay, so let's come back to FigWebex again and uh, let's try to uh, do this again and let's see if we're going to get this right this time. All right, so let's create this again. Let's see. Okay, good. So this is not completed now. I don't know why it failed initially, but in case you do that, you just have to redo it the same way I did. And now let's copy this so you can see this has been copied and let's come back to WordPress. Uh, so what we want to do is to right click from here paste from other side and then press ctrl v if you're using mac that should be command v i think so uh, i don't really use mac all right so just like that we now have that page here inside of elementor and i think this is amazing uh, so let's uh check this out okay oh this is beautiful okay okay Oh, wow, this is good. Good, good, good. I love this. There is just a lot of containers here. You might want to optimize this and re to remove unnecessary containers, but you would definitely need to uh, work on the properties to set them uh, exactly the way they should. And one of the not too good part of this is that the images here are not hosted on your website they are external url and that is what the plugin is doing so you can see for this image right now uh, the url here is from figwebex uh, dot soft slide so you don't want that really uh, you want to make sure that uh, you download these images upload them to your wordpress and then relink them uh, so you can see this is an editing here. Uh, so I, I love the fact that it's able to add the design to Elementor widgets. And that's quite very, very impressive. So quite a number of containers here. Wow, that's crazy. So you can see another editing here. I want to just uh, check out for all of this. So if we come to this again, this is another editing. So we can easily just uh, change, uh, edit this here. So you can see we can edit this uh, from here too as well. So if I come to this, so you can see this is an image here uh, again from Fig Webex. Um, same thing for here too as well. An external image. Uh, this is text. And I think this is beautiful. Uh, let's check out the responsiveness of this. So you can see exactly what this look like on top. And I think this is responsive. This is beautiful. Uh, let's check this out too as well on mobile. Beautiful, beautiful. So you can see this is amazing. Cool, 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 cool stuff. That's it for this. Uh, once you are done, you can publish the page. Uh, so let's 
switch this back to desktop. Let me see exactly what this looks like. Oh, full width. And I think this is beautiful. Uh, trust me. This is a good, good job. So go experiment with these guys. So I can also just come back to Webflow and let's just uh, open a site here. Okay, I think I have a WordPress site here too as well. That's beautiful. And let's uh, see if we can just bring that to Webflow, right? Uh, so let's uh, come to another project. This is uh, tied to Elementor. I'm not sure we can use that for Webflow. So let's uh, just come here. Let's come back to uh, this here and let's just right click this. Uh, let's copy link to selection and then let's come back to Fig WebEx here. Let's paste that link here and then let's change the page builder now to Webflow and upload images to assets. You can see here, this is a good future here for Webflow. Uh, let's turn that on. I uh, will need a Webflow API token. I'm not sure I want to go through that right now, but I will just uh, create this uh, design and let's hope this would work. Okay, and this worked and this is beautiful. So in this case here, it says double click. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, that is copied. And now let's come back to Webflow. Uh, we'll just paste that there and we see now that we have our design here inside of Webflow. I think this is beautiful. So let's scroll down. Uh, this is beautiful. So let's uh, check out the responsiveness too as well. Let's see how this is responding. Uh, this is responsive. This is beautiful. And that's it. This is super, super, super cool. If you have been waiting for the opportunity to clone uh, your website to WordPress or to whatever page builder you are using literally for free, this is the opportunity. Go check it out. I don't know when this will be launched fully and it will be paid. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Give this a try. And that's my time for this tutorial. If you find it very useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues, do let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them. I'll see you in another tutorial. And until then, stay safe.